But if you haven't heard from Shauna yet, we want to turn it over to Shauna. And because we want you to hear a little bit of her story. She's been, we're been we've been working together now right at right two years. And I'm so excited because you and you're you're you've got a birthday coming up and all the things that are coming up. So um I want y'all to hear from Shauna today. So Shauna, if you're ready, I would love to just introduce yourself and tell them who you are and maybe a little bit about you, you know, your life and where were you before we started, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I am Shauna Meeks. I live in Sholo, Arizona. Um, I'm so excited because it just started getting warm up here. So um, it's been freezing cold. Can you hear me, Angela? Yeah, okay. Um, So it has been about two years. I was in a place where I had Hashimoto's. Um, I had been diagnosed with Hashimoto's for years, it had been like probably eight years. And um, my thyroid was underactive. I was going through menopause. I was gaining weight every time I went to the doctor. The scale was up. I mean, I was just beside myself. I I didn't know what to do. And I actually um, really bad anxiety as well. And I went to my doctor and I asked her, there's got to be something I can do. I was exercising continuously but it was all cardio i mean i I heard lori say that she there's times she was on the elliptical for an hour that was me i mean i even wore one out (laughs) i even had one actually break on me (laughs) but i was i was on them all the time and and i was getting nowhere so i did i asked my doctor um what else do i need to do and and she literally the words from her mouth were you are a perfect storm unless you want me to give you you know like blood pressure medicine more thyroid there's really i don't know what to do for you so that's where i was um and i hated going to the doctor every time i went to the doctor the scale was up my blood pressure was up it was just it was horrible and of course you know you you get depressed when you hear all that i had actually been um doing some i think it was nutrisystem and still nothing no matter what i did nothing so then lo and behold i found this group and i'm like i'm gonna give it a shot (laughs) and ever since i have i mean it it has been a constant feeling better every week um i think i'm 53 gonna be 54 at the end of the month and i feel better than i've ever felt i mean I think I'm more in shape than I've ever been. Even when I was a teenager, I wasn't in this good of shape. And uh, I'm just living life and loving it. I love that. And you're going to be what you said, 54, right? 54 yeah, at the end of this month, y'all. Yep. And the perfect storm. I, I I always love using that. I was chatting with somebody the other day. I think I shared it with you as well, too. They, they're in a perfect storm. It's kind of a little different combination. But how many you can honestly say that are that are watching right now? Who do, Does anybody have Hashimoto's, menopause? thyroid issues. Like I, I always love Shauna to share that part of her story because she's such a beautiful example of like, because doctors will, doctors will truly make you feel so defeated. Like there is no hope. And I, and it drives me crazy. And I'll, I'm not going to go on my soapbox of the things that doctors will tell you. It drives me nuts. And I, you know, I love that profession, but I talk to so many women that just feel so defeated when they leave a doctor's office, because they just feel like there's no hope. And I know your story always gives women hope for if they're dealing with something similar. So I remember, so tell me you, you, you found the fa- the free Facebook group first, right? It's how we connected. Yes. yes. We, of course. And I started watching videos and then I started asking you questions and, and then we got on the call and, you know, at that point, I hate that people wait till they have nothing to lose to actually join because it doesn't have to be like that. Had I known then what I know now, I would have been in this good of shape all my life. I mean, <laughs> it's it's that right. simple. You know, you just you just don't know until you meet somebody like you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and so so go back to when we very first started. If you if you were two years ago, like when we first started, just introducing workouts, and we started off with habits first, and then slowly worked into macros. Do you remember how you felt back then? Like macros was totally new to you. And you crush it now with consistency every week over and over and over. But yeah, you know, everybody, yeah, you know, 
I can't say that I jumped on and it was easy. There was, you know, I remember the fitness test. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so out of shape. <laughs> but, you know, and then there was exercises that I couldn't do, you know, but persistence, man, if you just keep doing it, you, I mean, within the week, you start feeling stronger. I mean, it doesn't take very long to start feeling good and feeling stronger. And I, you know, we started out with water. So many people don't know to drink water. I was drinking Diet Cokes constantly. Imagine what that was doing to me. But like I said, I didn't know any better. And then I started drinking water. I don't think I've had a Diet Coke in a year. I just don't. You know, at, once you start the process, it really does get easier. It's not all that easy at first, but it does get easier as time goes on. And once you um, enforce those ha habits inside of you, it, it just it just becomes a lifestyle. And that's what impressed me about your guys's program is is uh, after probably after a month, I, I didn't crave sugar anymore. I loved water which that was a real hard one for me to get through. And then my workouts, you know how I feel about my workouts. <laughs> They're just a complete stress reliever for me. And, you know, Angela, I've never set foot at a gym since we started. It's always been um, in my bedroom with, with my weights. Um, I often think, well, maybe I should join a gym, but you know, a gym is literally a 30 minute drive for me. So that takes that much time out of my day so i just go with the home workouts and it's it's been amazing you know so. yeah no i love that i love that because so many there's a very small percentage of women that we coach to go to a gym you know whether it's lack of convenience or mm -hmm. lack of knowledge or some are just too insecure to walk through the door and that's okay too like there's so much that you can do at home i love yeah. working out at home it's my my preference as well too but um i love that and now like, I remember, I remember you going through your journey and there was little things like your habits that would go off on your phone to breathe or, you know, the changes, changes that you made start, you started seeing changes in your family, especially your husband. Um, can you share a little bit on, on the impact that you were having on them? Yes. So I, um, the first, one of the first things I did is, is I set a timer to remind myself to breathe because I don't know if anybody else has ever experienced this, but you don't remember just to take deep breaths. And that was a game changer for me. And my phone would start going off and everybody would yell across the house, mom, it's time to breathe. <laughs> and we would all laugh about it because everybody breathes, but. <laughs> So, and, and at the time, my husband was a uh, borderline diabetic and I knew we had to do something about him. He is in a profession where he has a CDL. If you get to the point where you have to be on, um, diabetic medicine, they will take your CDL all the way. So, so we started just prepping our meals and bam, I think his A1C was like eight point something. And now it's down to like six and he just did it the other day. So he, he knows and, and, uh, we just, we just do it together and that's been a blessing for us. So, um, just, and all I did was instill the habits that I was doing to him. And that was huge. The whole, the whole family is, we, it's a, it's a, we eat a lot cleaner than we ever did. And it's not a lot, it's, it's just small little shifts, like making sure you get your protein in and making sure he's eating protein and, and um, you know, just cutting the carbs to where they're in a good spot for you and eliminating the sugar. And that was huge for him. I love that. I love hearing because I know a lot of women I speak to a lot, like my, well, my husband needs to lose weight too, but they, like, they're not going to, a lot of times they won't admit or, or agree to join you per se, when you're on this journey, but they'll support you and they follow, they follow your lead, just like our kids. You know, if you've got, you know, people in your life, whether it's kids or your spouse that are like, they really should get healthy too. Like the, I cannot stress it enough. The best thing you can do is focus on you ladies, because they, that will overlap on them in a positive way, obviously. Um, you know, even though it was a joke of like, Hey mom, it's time to breathe. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You're also instilling that in them to like, oh, maybe I should. Well, that. and it was, it was yeah. really funny because I look over at them and they're all going. <laughs> 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 I 
So, oh my God, that's um, and, and never did I say, okay, Wes, we are going on a diet. We are going to start doing this. All I did was start cooking better meals, packing his lunches and things like that. I mean, and um, he did amazing. So it really was just following my lead. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, you're the core. You're the, the leader leader of the family, whether we uh, whether we believe it or not, we really are. And so, um, what would you say is your been your biggest wins over these last couple of years? I know you mentioned being the best shape in your life, even better now than you were in your teens. But even beyond the physical side, what do you think is like your biggest wins over these last few years? So honestly, my this isn't even a question. My mindset, because um, going into this, I always was down on myself, um, the expectations were so high. But um, once I started and I started putting something positive in my ear and I started really accepting me and looking at myself and saying, look, I'm, I'm 53 years old or 52 years old. I am in good shape and I'm only gonna get better from here. And that, that was huge. Um, just knowing that I wasn't gonna let my illness or my I wasn't going to let that defeat me, you know, and I focused on what was like, I always say what was right with my body and stopped focusing on what was wrong. You know, I set the Hashimoto's aside. I, I am not saying that you can't read about it, but don't obsess about it. Just live, live your life and healthy. And it all, it all lines out. It did for yeah. me. Yeah. And it's, and it's so true. And I know uh, I, there, I'm seeing a lot of love little all hearts pop up uh in the group where you sharing that so it's so true you know i do see a lot of women that especially with hashimoto's because you know it can make it a little bit more challenging to lose weight but it doesn't make it impossible um and so many kind of struggle with that belief in menopause so like oh the 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 age age is just a number ladies it's just a number you yes. have the power to control to change it oh my gosh you really do um last thing i'll ask you is like your biggest piece of advice to the ladies that are watching it, or it, anybody, any woman out there, what would you say um, to, what would you say to yourself two years ago or to them now? Um, to love yourself, to accept who you are and, and love the body you're in. Um, don't, don't try to be something else. Don't compare yourself to other people. Um, just love you. I mean, once I did that, that's when everything started changing everything and um, stay positive and and just know that what you're doing is paying off maybe maybe you're not getting that physical result or maybe the the scale is not going down but something in your body's changing you and i both know i you know i put on a few pounds but then when we took pictures it was like whoa i really do look different i the scale may have went up but man that's a much much more fit body. So um, just just don't let the little things dictate how you go into this. It's it's all what you make it. I really believe that. Yeah, I love that so much. Yeah, it's all about the perspective. And yeah, you're, you know, beautiful example of like the pat the scale was starting to creep up just a little bit. But yeah, pictures are everything. Ladies, right now, if you're coaching with us, we won't we 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 don't force you, but we encourage you to give us pictures so we can help you see that very thing. But if you're on your own right now, like pictures are everything. Do not let the this that number on the scale define you. It's just not one, it's not worth it to you're way more than a number. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely not the main thing and, um, and love yourself. Like the thing that you just said stood out to me was like, love yourself right now in the moment, ladies, because whether you have 10 pounds to lose 50 pounds, a hundred pounds, it doesn't really matter. You don't learn to love yourself now along the way to the journey to the 50 pounds, lighter version of you. You will not love yourself at 50 pounds lighter. I promise. I see it all the time. Um, working on the mindset. Oh my gosh. That's why we're here. <laughs> that's why we're here in this challenge. That's why we we do so much of it. Um, you know, I literally, all the I literally get up in the morning and I look at myself and I say, it's only going to get better from here. Every day is going to get better. It's a new day and it's just going to get better. And it does. It really does. Absolutely. Absolutely. The more you shift mentally, the, I mean, yeah, I love that. Oh my gosh. That's so awesome. Yay. Well, thank you so much, Shauna, for sharing again. Like, I appreciate it. You guys share, 
share some love in the comments for Shauna. Let us know what your biggest takeaway from her story was. I know I've already seen some that are already saying that you were it's such a huge inspiration. Um, a couple of them actually say you're such oh, an inspiration. Thank you, guys. thank you for sharing your journey. Um, and yeah, ladies, keep going. Just like she said, don't become obsessed. Don't become obsessed with what is, you know, maybe you have Hashimoto's or whatever, or menopause or whatever the things that's going on in your life. You know what I mean? Maybe you have limitations. Don't become so obsessed over that. Focus on what you can change. You know, God controls a lot of things in our life, not us. But what we can control is how we treat ourselves, how we look at ourselves, how we take care of ourselves. And it's such a such a huge part, an incredible part of, of this journey that we love to coach. We love to coach you with macros and losing weight and all the things, but man, we love more than anything helping you shift mentally. Um, so thank you so much 